Hello my fellow cigar smokers and welcome to Smokers Bad. We are smoking today the Patron 1926 series 80th anniversary. Let's see how it is. So guys, Patron, that one here, the 80th anniversary out of the 1926 series, that was a stick that was requested a couple of times. So I guess we have a couple of uh, viewers here who are uh, huge Patron fans. And I know that uh, Daniel, uh, 505 Cigar Review Show, he's a big fan of the 1926 series. So um, never smoked this one before. Um, really excited to see how it tastes. I heard a lot of good things, but um, you know, it's a forty, it's a forty euro stick, so that's around, don't know, forty three, forty four dollars. Okay, let's <laughs> let's see what can we expect from this one. By the way, uh, my friends, it is a perfecto, and it is six point seven five inches long and has a ring gauge uh, of fifty two. Let's get it started. That was something unusual. And I don't even know what it is. Something. Leathery, leathery, woodish, something like that, but really hard to put, put, uh, put my finger on. And a smell, something, uh, I don't know guys, if you know that, if you ever had that, when something is fermented, you know, it has this this special smell, and that's here with the cigar. But that's a really smell and cold oil. That was a really interesting combination. Um, excited to see uh, how this one is. Well, you know, since it's a perfecto, we don't have a very big opening here. Um, <clears throat> it's enough to just toast it for. I don't know, a couple of seconds. Oh, yeah. Also, the opening's very small here. Uh, at the beginning, it was on point. On point. Fantastic smoke output. Wow. And instantly, I have, there's nothing left from this fermentation smell <clears throat> and um, from that leathery taste on the, on the cold draw. Spice, a little bit of pepper and uh, nutty. First few puffs. Telling you the first few puffs were fantastic. Smoke's fantastic. Good start. Good start. <clears throat> okay guys, um, let's talk a little bit about Patron and especially here the 80th anniversary. Uh, the 1926 series is one of their regular um, series, and in there they uh, they are bringing out limited editions. Not quite sure how limited they are, but I don't know if you can see it here. There's on the on the band there's a unique identification number. That's also kind of crazy. 
Um, Hades and the Worst, this Seagull was coming out in 2006. And the second band here, 80 years, um, refers to the birthday of the old man. Uh, Jose Orlando Patron turned 80 um, back in 2006. And that was a homage, an homage to him, paying tribute, uh, saying happy birthday. So, and since then, this cigar is coming out more or less uh, on a regular basis. Um, no, it's a little bit like the, for example, the Liga Privada number nine. You know, they're bringing it out all the time, but the tobacco they are using it's kind of rare, so it's not always available. So you have to you have to look around. Um, this one is a uh, pretty easy. It's a Puro Nicaragua, means binder, wrapper, filler, all from Nicaragua, and that's where the spice is coming from. I love that. Nutty, creamy, spice. That's a nice combination. And the construction, guys, I'm telling you. The draw and the smoke output is impressive, really. Without further say, let's see how it develops. So guys, back with our Patron 1926 series 80th anniversary developed. I used the term fantastic a couple of times a day, but it's really fantastic. We have still this mixture of spice, some nuttiness, and this overall creaminess that is coating your whole mouth. So really a fantastic journey. Uh, throughout the whole smoking process more or less um, here and there there are a few pinches of like sweetness uh, uh, popping up for a while um, and uh, some more wood flavors but then after a few puffs they are gone again so uh, it's it's really never boring to smoke the cigar and the construction was fantastic uh, up to now draw always on point a uh, smoke output really one of the best smoke outputs i'm telling you i ever had so really love that um it's coming in two uh, variations actually this one here is the maduro and they also have a natural with a with a more um colorado claro wrapper style um and um i think the maduro at least what the description is giving us and all the experience other smokers made uh, is a little bit more sweet. I said I had the sweetness from time to time but not so intense and a little bit more um, stronger. So definitely it's it's really um, if I have like a if I would have like a, a let's say a palette of flavors and aromas that I would like to have in a cigar. This one here is definitely a good match. A few interesting facts about Patron. 
Don't know, guys. In Germany, they sometimes kind of hard to get. In the United States, they're even more popular. The interesting fact is they don't even have a sales team. They're not sending people out selling cigars to brick and mortar stores and online shops. They don't have to do that because people are coming to them and want to buy their cigars. And the price, interestingly, at least here in Germany, I'm not quite sure how it is in the United States, is really kind of stable. You know, they're really rarely like increasing prices uh, tremendously, other than, for example, the Cubans or also Davidov. Um, Davidov, for example, like almost every year they're increasing the prices just a little bit you know but over time you are starting like with a 25 dollar cigar and like 10 years later it, it cost you 28 you know so um let's see where this will lead us however interesting thing is if you are ever seeing like ads from patron somewhere they always have a little hammer in there uh somewhere in the in the advertisement and that is a nice tribute to uh, the founder um, who left Cuba in 1964 and started working as a carpenter in the United States. So, and that there's the reference with the hammer. So, if you were asking, if you were asking yourself, why the why the heck is a hammer in a cigar advertisement? Here you go. <laughs> And also that that pepper I had at the very beginning. First, I had like the impression that's going to be like a pepper bomb, but it's definitely not. It's a very the first few puffs were kind of strong, with a strong pepper flavor, but uh, the transition um, to the second third, there it started to getting really really mild, like a really mild, let's say white pepper, you know. Um, and it's always there sometimes a little bit stronger sometimes a little bit milder uh, together with the other with the other flavor transitions it's, it's just just a real cool experience to smoke that one guys I hope all you guys who requested the Patron 1926 80th anniversary I hope you um, you were happy with this one I don't know if you guys ever smoked one, um, especially at the 80th anniversary. It's, I mean, it's pricey. Uh, 40 euros, like oh, 43, 44 dollars. That's that's tough. But um, maybe for a special occasion, like don't know if you're celebrating your birthday or whatever, you know, uh, that might be a good cigar. Or in, in when you're coming together with a with a couple of friends um, and. Uh, you're all smoking like a cool cigar if you're coming up with that 80th anniversary man that's what would be the banger real lovely lovely all right guys hope you enjoyed it uh thanks for watching uh i hope you can smoke a great cigar like this patron um enjoy life most importantly stay safe and stay healthy and i hope to see you around at smoker spot cheers